in this video we're looking at how to make predictions for new observations or for an entire new data set based on an existing linear regression model that we have constructed. And in this video we're going to continue with the uh, life insurance data set that you've seen in the previous videos. And just to briefly recap, what we're trying to do is uh, build a regression model to explain and to predict costs of life insurance. So we've got a variable called cost, which contains different values for these different customers of how expensive their life insurance is. And we have some uh, explanatory variables, age, the age of a customer, a gender. So we're going to have a dummy variable for gender, male and female. We're going to have a dummy variable for whether the customer smokes or doesn't smoke. And after we have our linear regression model, we may use the result to predict for uh, a new customer of a certain age, of a certain gender, and whether, depending on whether he smokes or not, or she smokes or not, uh, how expensive his life insurance is going to be uh, based on our prediction, or for an entirely new data set of customers um, in order to decide on how expensive their life insurance uh, should be if that's our decision or to predict it um, based on our model. So to begin with, uh, let's assume that we've got our life insurance data in Radian and we've already built a linear regression model that explains and predicts uh, different costs for customers of different age, gender, and smoking um, characteristics. So in the linear regression tab, we've got our model, um, dummies for gender, and whether or not the person smokes, and we've got uh, H as our continuous explanatory variable. Now let's say we wanted to predict for a single new uh, customer for which we need to decide or predict a price. And we have information on, um, let's say, him being of age 50. So we just go into the predict tab, and in prediction input, we need to choose how do we want to predict. And before we do this with data, for an individual observation, we can simply use the command prediction input and say, we know that this new customer is of age 50. We press enter, and we get a prediction um, in terms of life, his life insurance costs uh, that are predicted to be 260. Now, when we only enter age, the other explanatory variables will be held constant at their average values. Now, let's say we have more information than just his age, which is also that he is uh, a male customer, so gender is male. And on top of that, we know that this guy is indeed a smoker. So we can just add gender equals male and smokes equals yes. And in that case we get a much more refined prediction which is actually if he is male and if he is a smoker his estimated life insurance costs are significantly higher than what we just predicted before um, and Specifically, they're 396. And that's because our model basically predicted that or ex, uh, explained life insurance costs for males to be a lot higher as well as for smokers, as you may have expected. So we can use this and we can create different predictions. So let's just say we knew that this person was actually younger, who was 35, so predict predictably is his estimated life insurance costs should go down. And uh, as we see, um, they're significantly lower at about 150. And if we say that he's a non-smoker, uh, so he promised not to smoke anymore and he doesn't have any pre-existing damage, uh, his life insurance costs would actually go down to 60 based on our model. 
So we can do this and we can use this to decide on life insurance costs for new customers and um, and we get our we get our predictions. Let's say instead of doing this for individual customers, we have a whole client base uh, and we have information on their gender and their smoking preferences, whether or not they're a smoker as well as their age, and we would like to decide on uh, their respective life insurance cost or predict it if we're in an analyst sort of situation. And uh, we can do this using the prediction input data option. Of course, we need to have some data to begin with. So instead of just simply uh, simulating or creating predictions for individual customers using the prediction command, uh, let's just create uh, a data set that simulates a new batch of potential customers. So I'm just going to go and say I'm going to create a new um, CSV file. We don't have any information on cost. Um, importantly, we only want to predict for values that are within the range of, of whatever we used to initially uh, estimate our model. So I think for H it was between so 35 and 55. So I'm just going to say rand between uh, 35 and 55 for H. For gender, it was about equally split. So I'm just going to uh, randomly create some gender uh, values. So I'm going to say random, which gives a value between 0 and 1. If that's greater, then 0.5, then please say this is male, otherwise female. So it's just going to give us random uh, genders, and I'm going to do the same with smokes by saying if, if, if this random 0 to 1 value is greater than 0.5, then please give me yes, otherwise give me no. So I'm going to just use this to create, let's say, 100 uh, random new customers that we would like to uh, predict their uh, life insurance costs. So now that we did this, uh, let's just go ahead and save this as a CSV file so that we can then import this and I'm simply going to call this life insurance new into radiant and use this to predict the cost of these uh, new customers so the life insurance cost of these new customers so we're back in radiant uh, instead of using the prediction command function for individual observations we would like to use the entire data now before we can use this, we actually need to load this data into Radiant. So we've got to go back to the Data tab and say, as a CSV file, please load some new data. And we saved it here, Life Insurance. And we've got that data in Radiant. Now, it may have been that when we go back to the linear regression model, uh, we just lost that model, so we just got to go back. Life insurance, this was our data into the linear regression interface and just re estimate that quickly. So we've got our data here and then the prediction tab before we used command. So this is where we were. Now at this point, we would like to go and instead of using the command interface, predict life insurance costs for our entire data, new data set. So we select data as a prediction input. And now that we've loaded this, we can say, please give us the prediction for life insurance new. And we already get this here as our preview, 10 out of the 100 cases. So for the first guy, who was 35 male and a non-smoker, 
his life insurance was very cheap. And then we have all of these other predicted life insurance costs, depending on the characteristics of these new customers. Um, one of the things that we probably would want to do first is to save these predictions in our life insurance new data set. We can call this predict cost, and we store this as a variable. Another thing that we could do is we could actually look at our predictions. So uh, plot predictions allows us to look at our prediction line and before we need to set this up, so we want age, we also want gender, and in this case we actually create four different prediction lines depending on gender and smokes. So whether somebody's female, smoker, non-smoker, or male or smoker, non-smoker, and we have the effect of age. So the effect of age, as you see, the older somebody will get will be the more expensive his life insurance will be. And then we have four different uh, intercepts, basically, according to our dummy variable. So depending on when somebody is female or male or a smoker or a non-smoker. And as we had looked at before previously, uh, as you can see here, in essence, um, females will have cheaper life insurance uh, than males and smokers will have more expensive, li more expensive life insurance costs than non-smokers. And we can see this here based on these uh, intercepts which are going to be lower for the non-smokers, so uh, lower predicted values for non-smokers than for smokers, and the same for male and female, whichever one you compare. And uh, we could save this in our report. So once more, we get a nice little report um, of the predicted values for a new data set, including a visual representation of, of, of our predictions. And um, again, as we had done once before. If we want to have the whole list of the 100 new clients so we can look at it and say, this particular client will uh, or should be priced uh, accordingly, depending on whether he's male, female, his age, and uh, whether or not he's a smoker, we can show these predicted values for all 100 cases by changing this n to 100. Now, a last thing. Uh, we may want to do, so now we get all these 100 predicted values, including their prediction intervals. The last thing we may want to do is go back into the data view and for our life insurance new data, for which we just predicted the cost that we didn't have, we may want to save this as a file um, to send to a colleague, so you can actually save this as a CSV file that now includes our predicted cost. And when you save it, it will simply save this uh, in the case of Mac into the downloads uh, folder. And then uh, as we would like to have, we get uh, the CSV file of our life insurance new data set that includes the predicted cost for all of these customers. So you can send this uh, to somebody who's not involved, who just needs this to make pricing decisions uh, and so forth. So that's it. And that's how we predict for individual new observations or in this case, an entirely new data set.